Hi there everybody. Well, I had done two videos for you and they recorded without sound. I have to say I've had nothing but problems since the Marina Bettina video. Anyway, I'm going to quickly redo this one about Trump's Titanic. You know, we had Rex Tillerson. Um, so you've got high positions and low positions like his valet, Trump's valet, whoever he was, who presumably was being paid 100000 a year maybe to tell him if his tie was straight. Um, he had to go because of um, fraudulent money dealings, had a gambling problem, failed his security clearance. Um, and then you've got everyone in between. You've got the very bent Ben Carson, you've got Betsy DeVos on the line. Um, by the time this video uploads, probably Andrew McCabe, FBI will be gone, Jeff Sessions is on borrowed time. So I was thinking about it and I was thinking some time ago I did White Walkers in the White House. What was happening? What was it like to work in the White House? And so I think we're really due for an update working for Trump in this administration. All right. So what's it like? Particularly the West Wing. So now the whole world has to get used to Pompeo running around, bull in a china shop. Ah, oh, I don't know. And that's not to mention Trump going to the Republican donor dinner saying, I just made up all this shit when I was talking to Justin Trudeau. That would be the leader of a neighbouring power there to talk about trade and he just made stuff up and admitted he made stuff up and didn't know. Um, when did it all happen, you know? What happened, America? Anyway, what's it, what's it like working in the White House? Update. All right. Oh, I don't think that's reversed. I think that's my cards. All right. Okay, here we go. Celtic Cross. All right. Now, Trump normally comes up as the emperor. He does at times come up as the king of wands. Okay, so being in the center of the reading, I think this is Trump in this particular context. So wands being willpower and also fire energy. I get the feeling at the moment He's on fire, like not just the house burning down, but on fire. Sorry. He kind of, to me at the moment, I don't know how you guys feel, but he's feeling pretty strong in a, a sort of strange way now because of the sheer power of being able to do this hiring and firing at this high level. Um, the behind-the-scenes emotional stuff, will unfold a bit on time delay, I think. But at the moment, it's like he's on pep pills and he's going out there just lashing at um, the world. So that's the King of Wands on steroids in the middle there. We have the Queen of Swords in an, an essential position for this reading. Older woman with a sharp tongue. Um, we know he forgets he's married, and Melania, I think, has always had zero influence on him, so it's not him. It's an older woman than Ivanka. I'm wondering, I don't think it's Ivana particularly. I'm thinking Rebecca Mercer, maybe. They pulled back from Bannon, the Mercers, the billionaires, Maybe Rebecca Mercer has had a bit to say. Maybe she's saying 
to him, if you're going to continue to get our huge financial support, I want a bit more say in the hirings and firings, which would be spectacularly corrupt and inappropriate, but that wouldn't rule it out, would it? No. Might be Rebecca Mercer. All right, crossing this. You have the card of hard work. Right. Now, um, sometimes I call this the martyr card. It doesn't have to be. It can just be really hard work. I think that represents... Ooh! <laughs> that represents the people left in the administration and the White House who are really trying to do a decent job. Right. Now, if we look at the slightly martyred aspect of it, it could be referring to, I think there were four guys in what was laughingly referred to as a suicide pact, and that was Tillerson, Mattis, McMaster and Kelly, the grown-ups. If you hang in, I'll hang in and we'll try and keep this ship afloat. Um, the pack. So Tillerson's gone. Um, Kelly, dodgy. McMaster and Mattis couldn't feel secure. So maybe it's them. Underneath, what is the problem with working in the White House would be the Ace of Wands, which confirms Trump as the King of Wands armed with his blunt instrument, okay, which is his personality and also his intellectual ability. <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear, storm clouds around the blunt instrument here going on. Recent past, I'm the president, I can do what I like, the chariot. So everyone is operating in a climate of fear. We know that. It would be from um, everywhere in the hierarchy, from the most humble position in the White House to the biggest positions that are available in the West Wing. He is charging over the lot of them, unfortunately without control. And so this is this single-focused character who is just determined to move forward on his own agenda, on his own terms. Overarching the reading, you'd be pleased to see temperance. This could represent, well, several things. It could represent um, those who are trying to steady the good ship Titanic. Those four I just mentioned before, now three. Okay, the last bastions of adulthood, the voices of reason. Now, it could also be, or as well as be, those in the Republican Party who are really, really concerned about their party. So that would include people like Trey Gowdy who said, it's shocking, the conclusion of the House committee um, that there was a little bit of Russian interference, but it didn't matter, and we come out and say there was nothing to worry about. He was shocked and appalled at that and separated himself from the others. There was also Flake, who has the great advantage of about to retire, who said, I think it was just this morning, Australian time, my party is not fit to govern. I haven't heard that out of a politician's mouth in my lifetime, and I'm 62. So there must be some Republicans who have a tiny bit of conscience left. All right. The sun should be boding well and shining on the endeavours of the chariot, but you'd have to think exposing everything. The sun card has had repeatedly, not just in my readings with other readers, shining the light on this depraved administration. It's gone beyond clownish. It's entered 
the sort of late Roman period now. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, All right. How does Trump see himself or how do people in the administration see themselves? Page of Pentacles, this, um, this figure with the red turban usually implies a highly intelligent person who's capable of great rational thought, logic and appreciation of science. It's a very specific sort of interpretation of the page. Or the worshipping of money. Okay, so that's how wide the spectrum is of interpretations of each card. So, dear viewers, I will let you decide. So, in fairness to those who are working hard, I think there's a, the kinder interpretation, which is we are here to provide a voice of reason and sanity in the face of madness. So, personally, I'll give it a more generous interpretation. It's certainly not Trump. Uh, across that, could be Trump. <laughs> Trump's a Gemini, and Gemini is often, one of the good things about Gemini is they often have a really youthful energy. And in this context, um, it's a, a more youthful character. However, there's no reflection in this. As I was saying in that previous reading, he's incapable of reflection or thinking I made a mistake or admitting there's another way of doing things. This is the sword which is leaving the card, implying the sword's slightly bigger than the figure. The sword is a bit out of control. And we're talking about the head-lopping swords of just wiping the floor with competent people. It's like, even with Tillerson, um, there was this reluctance to regard anyone who as an expert. So it's all this gut, I'm going with my gut, and I just think, and, uh, 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 uh. you're running a country, a very big country with 300 million people, and it impacts on the world, and I'd rather you didn't just run with your gut, love. I'd rather you took expert advice of people who actually know what they're talking about. But that was condemned as the swamp. So anything that smacks of expert advice or complexity gets wiped out. And it's just this simplistic nonsense. Yeah, so not surprising. Big Daddy, King of Cups. Now, we had here Trump in his sort of macho I rule identity. This is also a king-like character, but this is his emotional identity. So this is the character who, at his best, understands and empathises with people's emotions and makes decisions that will be in the, the interest of their well-being not describing anyone we know. So it has to be the other end of the interpretations, which is someone who's quite cruel uh, and who is indifferent to emotions. Just in time. Tick, tick, tick. Judgment. The American people rising up in judgment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. About looking for more respectful ways of doing things. In a funny way, people are reacting, um, I know from your comments, but also general observations, people are reacting to different things Trump does differently. So some are concerned about foreign policy, some are concerned about domestic policy, but a lot of people are concerned by his sheer brutishness and his sheer rudeness. You know, when he went to that rally and, and called um, that journalist sleepy-eyed son of a bitch, 
it's very tasteless, it's very tacky. And funnily enough, I think more and more Republicans, even though they forgive him everything, are starting to be offended by his crudeness. He's a very crude man. And I think that's part of the judgment. It was also part of the interviews that came out of Pennsylvania. A lot of people, especially women, um, were saying, I just don't like how he talk how he talks. Not about the content of what he's saying, but he is vile, truly vile. So he's being judged on that. It's accumulating. Okay. Working in the White House, why would you do it? Why would you do it? Now, given that I identified four of them early in this reading, there are only three left. Good luck and God bless, you'd have to say, for Kelly Matheson McMaster. All right, then, everyone, I'm going to keep this short because I have to upload it because of the technical hitches. So I'm about to do another reading, and so it'll be able to back up quite quickly, I hope. Thank you. Love you. If you wish to donate, please, please do so. Don't forget your thumbs up. Speak soon.